What's happening out there? Chris with Heavy Heads Records here with another vinyl video for you. First off though, this video is unofficially sponsored by Maximum Weekend. That's right, you guys have heard of The Weekend. He's pretty good, but he's not Maximum Weekend. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link to uh, some of their music down in the description if you feel like checking it out. Great Springfield, Missouri band. You're gonna like them, check them out. Let's get started with the uh, records and I'm gonna go through them really quickly uh, for those of you who are impatient, just wanna check them out on Discogs, totally get it. For those that wanna stick around uh, and check out the condition, I'll be showing the condition of the records too. Uh, so let's go. First one on the list, Gang Green, Another Wasted Night. And this is an original copy. Old school. Let's check out the wax. How about the label here too? How, how cool is that? Check out the label first. Now let's look at the wax. I'm gonna check it out. This one's beautiful. Near mint. No spindle marks at all. Looks unplayed, guys. Ooh. That is the last time I'll be touching that record. That goes for all of these. They'll be touched here and put on a shelf until they wind up on your shelf. Next up, guys, Scorpions Love Drive, Japanese pressing. Check that out. Uh, I think that's okay for YouTube because what is going on right there? There's nothing, nothing bad there. But uh, this was a band cover at one time. Um, also notice the play graded sticker. That means I've listened to this record. Um, I know it's good. I know it doesn't skip. Um, let's go ahead and take it out of the plastic wrap. Look at that OBI strip, first of all. That is super, super clean. Does have a little bit of a dog ear back here, unfortunately, but uh, that does happen on these. Um, let's go ahead and get into the vinyl here. It's going to be on orange RCA. Now this is this is VG, guys. <laughs> I listed it VG. It's got just a couple surface marks. I hope you realize how just crazy I am about condition. That's what I'm trying to get at. There's a surface mark here. I can't even get it to show up, but I'd say that would be the number one thing that made me say, hey, this is VG. There it is. You see that? It's a surface mark. It's very light. I don't like it, you know, for Japanese pressing. Um, needs to be in really good shape. And then here, guys, this side, everything I can see says this side's near mint. If I were to grade this again, I mean, it almost gets a VG plus. It's so close. Uh, but again, on all, almost all my listings, you're going to see graded conservatively for quality assurance. Um, here's the deal. I feel like if I grade it very conservatively and it shows up better than you expected, neither of us are going to have any problems. So I might... You know, I might take a loss. I might lose five bucks on a piece or whatever, but um, I don't care. You know, I'd rather you be happy. I'd rather me be happy and I'd rather move on to the next thing. So that's my philosophy as far as grading is concerned. Right, guys, next up is Radio Dread. Yeah, by the Easy Start All-Stars. Not Radio Head, Radio Dread. Uh, Easy Star All-Stars are a reggae collective. Um, they've done lots of big names, or covered lots of big names, I should say, including Radiohead, uh, Pink Floyd, The Beatles, uh, David Bowie, the list goes on. Check them out. They're fun to listen to. Uh, on this one, you'll notice it's been play graded, um, not because I was worried about the condition, but because I wanted to hear it. Uh, no skips, of course. Um, nothing on Discogs that we have should ever skip. Uh, so take that into account when you order from us. Um, it's listed at VG Plus, and the reason for that is there's just a couple, there's a light hairline right here across the record. I don't even know if you can see it. 
but it is there. Yeah, it's hard to get it to show up. But that's it. There's a light hairline there and there's just a little defect here. I'm not even sure if that's, I think that might be from the plant, but uh, they don't affect play. And uh, record uh, two, the green record, that's in near mint condition. Not a mark on it. Just a beautiful, beautiful example of that record. Now, the sleeve is listed in VG plus condition as well. Ooh, that's why. See that? Ooh. It's got some wrinkles there. The corners are, are not the best. Has the OG Hive sticker, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's solid. You can see the spine. So yeah, VG Plus on this, VG Plus on the vinyl. Um, check it out. Next up, the Jesus and Mary Chain Darklands. Check this one out. Of course, play graded once again. Had to throw that one on the turntable. It's in great shape. I've got this one graded at near mint on the vinyl and VG plus. I'm sorry, near, yeah, near mint on the vinyl, VG plus on the record. OG inner sleeve. Now when I ship this out, I'm gonna leave the inner sleeve in the uh, jacket. I'm gonna give you a, a generic sleeve and ship it out that way. And when nothing happens to your sleeve, and this one's got just a little bit of dust. I think I was afraid to even touch it. It was in such good condition. You guys ever do that? Yeah, just got a little bit of dust on it. No spindle marks on side one. Same story on side two. Looks unplayed, but I know it's played because I played it. Um, other than that, yeah, this is this is a near mint record, guys. Near mint record. Now the sleeve, I could almost argue this gets near mint as well. I'm super conservative though. I want you to be happy when you get it. Uh, in my opinion, like it's got a little bit of ring wear up here. It's got some, some wear on the back, ring wear on the back. I like it. I, I would rather, honestly, I think have one in this condition with a little bit of ring wear, a little bit of personality uh, than, I w I, than I would one that looks brand new. So. Of course, that's my collecting style, not necessarily yours. And that's why I put VG Plus instead of your mint. But if you, if you want this record, it's in amazing condition. Uh, this would finalize your, your collection. You wouldn't have to look for another copy of this one if you didn't want to. Next up, we got Johnny Cash American Recordings. Check this one out. I've got this one listed at... Uh, near mint VG plus so let's look at side one of the record near mint no spindle marks you can see that side two same story just a beautiful example of this record I might have got the grading wrong on the sleeve though this Almost looks near mint to me. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I guess I was feeling extra critical that day. Uh, maybe it's because of this little fraying here on the end, on the spine. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's VG Plus. So when you order this, maybe it could have been from the ring wear, but when you order this, just know you're getting a basically a near mint record all around. Um, again, quality guys, quality. And that goes uh, for our regular website, too. This, uh, of course, is on Discogs. If you order from our site, heavyheadsrecords.com, uh, I have a condition guarantee. It's either VG Plus or better. Um, typically, guys, I'm hitting near mint uh, every time. I hate returns. Uh, I'm a big believer in under promise, over deliver, and I just want you to be happy. Next up, Velvet Underground and Nico. Uh, First off, you're going to notice on this one that uh, it is a repress. You can't peel the banana, no matter how hard you try. Uh, it has been listened to. 
one of my favorite records. Um, also, does anybody know the uh, the way to tell if this was a uh, an original on the back? Um, I'll give you a, well, I'll just let you know. So right here, uh, they actually airbrushed out a guy who was doing a handstand. Uh, if you see the cover with the guy doing a handstand, his head's gonna be here. Um, you gotta look for it, but seeing this and knowing this, what uh, knowing what this looks like, um, you'll be better able to see the one with the handstand. If you find that one, you got some money on your hands. Hang on to it. Also, that one's definitely going to have a peelable banana. So I've got this one at VG plus all the way around. Let's look at the cover on this one first. Again, probably strong candidate for near mint, but it's got some ring wear on the front and the back, a little dirt, a uh, little wear there, and then spine. I mean, it's, man, it's in great shape. And it's got the printed inner sleeve. Then we're gonna look at the label here. It's on that black verve. Very cool. And like I said, VG Plus, then why did I decide it was VG Plus? Well, nope. a couple surface marks here. Nothing too, too huge at all. Very light, superficial. Can't even see them on the video. I wish I could capture these every time like I wanted to, but I just can't. Trust me, they are there, but man, you get this record and you'll just be super, super happy. There's a little, little spot here too of some stuff. I don't know if you could see it. Yeah. Anyhow, wonderful example of this record. It sounded great when I played it. And of course, if you're on a budget, this one's still high, but it's not as high as the uh, the ones I was talking about earlier. This record here can fetch uh, over a grand, easy, uh, if it's an original press in the right shape, etc. So, very sought after album here. Um, great copy uh, for you to have until you find that original pressing in the wild. I'm counting on you. Next up, Dolly Parton, uh, the fairest of them all. How about that one? And uh, got this one at near mint VG plus. And um, yeah, I'd say that's a VG plus cover. Um, very legible spine there. Good looking record. Uh, good looking uh, cover, I should say. It's got the printed inner sleeve, the advertisement sleeve. Um, so nothing uh, spe special or specific to this record, but uh, still cool on the orange RCA right here. Near mint is the vinyl condition. And first thing I notice is no spindle marks on the record. I have not played this one. And yeah, that, that side is amazing. No defects at all. Side two. Same story. No defects, no spindle marks. Everybody, do everybody loves Dolly. We may have some other stuff of hers on our site too right now. Make sure to look at those. We're dwindling down here. We got three left. Uh, really cool pieces coming up though. So let's keep it going. Next up is Rush Hemispheres. Now there's something special about this record. I'm trying to rush to find uh, the listing. Um, hang on just a second. I got it. So I've got this one listed near mint all the way around. And it was in a very, um, very good protective sleeve. Uh, corners are sharp, just a, I mean, just a little bit of, of fraying right there, but I mean, that's, I mean, how can you not have something after this long? The vinyl is colored and it is red. So I can get it out of here.
Once again, near mint all the way around. No spindle marks. Beautiful copy for your Rush fans out there. They rush on over to Discogs. <laughs> oh, I'll rush on out of here after these next two are done. How about that? Speaking of crappy comedy, it's Monday night, by the way. Um, I'm not saying it's all crappy, but I'll be there uh, over at Bugsy's uh, on Republic Road. Open mic comedy hosted by John Spangler. Hey, this has got an insert. Boom, that's going to come with it, just so you know. And that is in near mint condition, too. I don't even think I listed that the insert was on there. Maybe I did. If I didn't, hey, you know, and they don't. Next up, this one's gonna be easy. The next two are gonna be really easy. The Talking Head, Stop Making Sense. Um, this one's gonna be easy for condition because it's sealed. So don't have to worry about the condition of the record. It is presumed mint. Uh, this is a club edition. You can see the number right there. And I've actually, uh, I said the sleeve was VG. Um, so here's why I think. Uh, we've got a little bit of opening here on the shrink. I don't like that. Uh, it's got a little bit of dirt here from storage. I don't like that. The shrink's pretty tight on the corners, causing them to, to have a little rounding. I don't like that. Um, Oh, and there's a there's a crease right here. That's probably the big reason for it right there. So all those things combined would, would make it a VG copy to me. Uh, some some might grade it VG plus, but again, conservative. Uh, stop making sense. It's got offers open too. You want to make an offer on it? Uh, go ahead. And actually, most of my stuff has uh, the offer uh, option on them. So. If it's priced too high, you think it's too high, make me a reasonable offer. Um, I usually accept something if it's reasonable. Um, I'll go check the other listings. You know, I'll see what they're selling for, what they've sold for. Maybe I priced it three months ago and now it's gone down. Um, make me aware, you know. The only thing I don't like is, is if it's just outlandish and, and just unreasonable. I mean, if you're asking half off for something that's consistently selling it, at a certain amount, it's not gonna happen. So, um, that being said, let's get to the last one. Last but not least, it's the 3LP uh, box set of Abbey Road. It's got three LPs in there. Um, of course, it's got a regular copy of Abbey Road. Then it has uh, some unreleased studio outtakes, demos, and studio chat on the other two LPs. So, a really cool set for any Beatles fan. Um, it's also a 50th anniversary edition. So uh, really cool on that front as well. Check it out. Buy it for somebody you like. Buy it for that Beatles fan. Check out uh, my Discogs page, please. Um, my eBay. Of course, we've got a store right on heavyheadsrecords.com. You'll find a lot of good meat and potato stuff on there, some new records, uh, etc. Please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, check out my other video videos, my socials, etc. Don't forget to check out Maximum Weekend uh, down in the description. Uh, their Spotify link will be down there. And yeah, that's all I've got for you this time. Stay tuned for the next one, and I will catch you next time.